this stuff, Andy. Nana actually gave her heart to the Lord when she was seven years old. So, this is a few moments from me and my mum, and I'm going to share it to you now. Mum was around when Kerry and I were small, taking us to school, picking us up, we didn't come home to an empty house. Dropping us off to youth meetings, Mum would always reassure me when I was worried or nervous. I would say, I'll be alright Mum, and she always said yes. We had lovely times as a family, going to conference when we were young, and going away in this country and abroad. Mum would come and visit me in the Bible College with Dad and Kerry, taking me out for lunch. Mum and Dad would buy me nice desserts now and again, for students to enjoy, and stuff. It was lovely, enjoyed by all, I'm sure. I'm thankful for a Christian Mum and Dad. God was so good to us. Mum was quiet and an assuming lady. Never one to push herself. In fact, she was quite shy. She wouldn't be the one to be at the front. She would quietly serve the Lord in Pandy Lane, helping in the coffee morning, making a Dayton big root cake. Walnut. Walnut cake, sorry. <laughs> which was delicious. She would clean the church. The sinks and the toilets would be sparkly clean. She would count the church money and bank it. It was lovely that mum would come to open airs and sing with a group. When we had our children's Bible club for one week in the summer holidays, she would be making the toast and drinks. There was fruits to eat and some goodies too. It was nice to hear mum's voice in the prayer meeting when she would read a verse from a hymn or a few scriptures. Mum and dad always came to stay with us wherever we were serving the Lord in the country. She was a good support, very loyal and faithful. She, would, she could be trusted not to say anything to anyone. If she had been told anything in confidence, she would be a trustworthy woman. She never liked hearing people talking about other people. She would tell you so. If you haven't got anything worth saying, don't say it at all. <laughs> As a mother-in-law to Stan, she was quiet, never interfered, was loyal, and never spoke ill. As a mother-in-law to Sam, no, I said that. <laughs> Mum was a good help to Uncle Ed when she when he grew older. And today is the fifth anniversary of Uncle Ed. He was home calling. Living the life of Jesus, not being loud or a show. His mum would say, actions speak louder than words. Mum enjoyed seeing the grandchildren, Abigail, Josiah, Reuben and Seth. Reuben and Seth always remember Nana's house, a supply of chocolate and blueberry muffins. <laughs> and Nana would always ask, orange or apple juice? I remember mum quoting the scripture, thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee when she went through a difficult time in her life. Recently, Mum told me that she loved the Lord Jesus, who is she with right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my Mum. We love the Lord Jesus. We will see her again. Amen. We love you lots and lots, Mum. I'm sure, Mum, you have heard the Lord Jesus say to you, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And for those you don't know the Lord personally, I felt, well, I had some words in my mind, and I felt like I want to share it to you, so I made it into a poem. It's called Loved Ones. To those who lost a loved one, who you mourn and is long gone, you're just saying goodbye for a while if you believe in the Son of God. So, so those who lost a loved one, a parent, a child, a friend, death is not the ending if you give your life to him. Mm -hmm. He's making a place for you with streets made of gold, a mansion with your name on it, or so I've been told. <laughs> he wants to draw you closer. He wants a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. He gave his son to die for us so he might be with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.